In this video, using Altium Designer's Layer Stack Manager, we will show how to create impedance profiles for transmission lines and how to apply them to the circuit board using the PCB Rules and Constraints Editor. There are many cases when transmission lines or differential pairs are used to transmit signals on a circuit board. These transmitting systems must have a certain impedance, which is dependent on the geometry and structure of the board layer stack. Altium Designer, using the Layer Stack Manager, allows you to automatically calculate transmission line parameters. It is important to define the structure of the layer stack before we can add impedance profiles. Click on the impedance tab at the bottom of the layer stack manager to configure the impedance profile requirements. Next, click on the plus button to add a new profile. Once a new impedance profile has been created, using the properties panel we can now define the required impedance type, target impedance and its target tolerance. The geometry of the transmission lines on each layer will be calculated automatically. The thickness of the material for the calculations is taken from the layer stack. The geometry of the transmission line will be displayed in the properties panel. When the FX button is pressed, the line width is calculated automatically. But you can also enter the value manually. The calculated impedance thereafter will be displayed just below. By default, adjacent layers are selected as reference layers. These can easily be changed by selecting from the drop-down list. On the inner layers, the structure of the transmission lines will be different to the outer layers. This is because of the adjacent signals on both sides of the routing layer. When calculating the parameters for transmission lines on the outer layers, it is possible to use the surface finish type to form part of the impedance profile calculations. If needed, there is an option to invert the traces on the internal layer. Let's create a new impedance profile, this time for a differential pair. In the properties panel, select the impedance profile type differential. Enter 100 ohms as the target impedance. The geometry of the transmission lines on each of the layers will now be calculated automatically. For the top layer differential pair, we will enable the surface finish as part of the impedance profile calculations. Notice in this case the width of the traces is calculated automatically. In calculating the width of the trace, the gap between the traces is taken into account. If needed, the width can be changed to the required value. You can also use the FX button to recalculate the gap calculation. It is advisable to consult your board manufacturer for the edge factor when calculating properties for transmission lines. The edge factor can be entered manually if needed. After creating the impedance profiles, the layer stack file must be saved so that it applies to the circuit board. We can now in the PCB rules and constraints editor use the impedance profiles to set the routing widths of the single 50 ohm signal trace and the 100 ohm differential signals. From the routing width rule, let's create a new rule for the 50 ohms net class by enabling the Use Impedance Profile checkbox. The routing width of the traces will be taken from the selected impedance profile. Similarly, we will enable the impedance profile for the differential pairs routing. 